let me first uh, say what I'm, I'm going to say today is the uh, following results. This, uh, there are some, I will give some estimates on the maximal dimension of a totally geodesic uh, sub, sub variety of AG. So the, the best estimate we could get is the, this one, but it's based on other results and I will present uh, maybe not exactly this one, but uh, so uh, the kind of result is the following, that uh, Y be a germ of uh, totally geodesic a variety uh, of a G uh, contained in the Pirelli locus. Uh, then uh, the mention of uh, y is less than or equal to um, g minus one if g is even and uh, or the other way around <laughs> if it's this one. Let's check. Yes, since the computation is local, I just uh, set a germ, but uh, okay, so this is the dimension. So this, uh, uh, this result is based on, uh, on previous results. Let's say pre previous estim estimates. The, the first one was uh, uh, by uh, myself, Alessandro. Luigi uh, and Elisabetta Colombo. Two thousand fifteen, and uh, the estimate was a bit uh, uh, was not a bit uh, worse. So it was uh, this one, and then uh, in between this, there was also an improvement uh, uh, made by. Um, Luigi, Torelli, and Tirola. And uh, this, uh, the estimate in this case was uh, seven third G minus two third, something like this, which is in 2020. Okay, but what I will going to present is, uh, is this result with uh, a result a bit in between. It's this result, because it's easier to, to present uh, with a slight, uh, uh, Modification. Okay, but uh, uh, to do this, uh, I want to. I have to introduce at least a couple of uh, things. First of all, uh, the um, the Gaussian maps. So uh, take L line bundle on a curve C. C is smooth projective curve of genus G, and uh, so the first. Uh, Gaussian map or wall map. First, Gaussian are also called wall map. Is this map is a map that goes from uh, the lambda two of uh, H naught of L to H naught of two uh, L plus. So let's write it. Uh, sorry? Uh, J of MG. The closure, but it's, uh, it's, it's not here, it's, uh, it's a germ. So I will uh, just uh, be in the computer. Should be empty, yes. Conjecturally, for high genus, uh, uh, should be empty. So we are not able to, to prove it, <laughs> and uh, so we try to to use the second fundamental form at least to bound uh, the maximal dimension of a, of a totally geodesic. Yeah, this is the 
it's not sharp at all, at least the results, the, the examples that we know are all, as I said, for G uh, less than or equal to seven. And mostly, most of them are, are of dimension one. There are the highest dimension we have is dimension three, I think. So it's, um, yeah. But anyway, this is the, the best we could get <laughs> to, up till now. So uh, this is the, um, the first uh, wall map is defined as follows. Uh, so you take uh, um, two uh, sections here, uh, for example, let's call it uh, okay, S wedge T. And uh, uh, if uh, uh, S, I give a, uh, there is a more intrinsic definition, but it's a bit more complicate, complicated and uh, Gaussian maps can be done for there is a kth Gaussian map. I will only need the, the first one and the second one. So I give a definition of local coordinates, but uh, uh, can be done more, uh, more generally. So assume that S uh, locally is uh, of the form F uh, Z times uh, L, where L is a local frame for the line bundle and T is uh, locally, and Z is a local coordinate. Then, uh, this uh, is F prime G minus F G prime um, L square B Z. Okay, uh, so one can uh, easily check, or maybe. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it now, but one can easily check that this is a, a this is a, is a section of this line. But maybe I can do it for this one and not for the second one. So uh, to do it, uh, assume let's take uh, um, we have to do a, a change of uh, uh, coordinate. So let me uh, assume that uh, on uh, Q alpha, we have uh, um, we have this uh, situation. So I I call uh, um, I call uh, um, S is F alpha L alpha and uh, T is uh, um, so let's say H okay G alpha. Well, let me call this G because uh, H. Otherwise, then I I make a mistake with the it's the same, but. Uh, H alpha L alpha. Okay, then uh, what do we have? We have that uh, the section um, the section uh, on uh, U beta. We have that uh, um, L alpha L beta is equal to G alpha beta L alpha. Okay, where G alpha beta is the cycle of the line bundle and uh, F alpha is G alpha beta F beta, and H alpha is G alpha beta uh, H beta. Okay, then uh, it's uh, quite easy to uh, to compute the, the the local expression. So we have in the first coordinate we have uh, F primo alpha H alpha minus F alpha H prime alpha uh, L alpha square times the Z alpha, okay? And this, uh, um, we can just uh, use the change of coordinates and write it uh, this way. So uh, the derivative, uh, this is simply, um, sorry, let, let's write it. Uh, otherwise we make a mistake, we make a confusion. Okay. Then we have, uh, what is the Z, the Z alpha? Uh, this is simply an H alpha is G alpha beta, H beta, okay. Then here we have minus G alpha beta, F beta. Uh,
okay? And then L alpha um, square is uh, L beta square divided by G alpha beta square. And then uh, we have the, um, okay, so now should be not so difficult to conclude because so here we have G alpha beta, here we have, so this is one over G alpha beta. Um, then um, we have, uh, um, Okay, mm, sorry, I think we are uh, almost done. These are the, this, okay, one makes, uh, mm, have to, to compute what is, uh, uh, what is, uh, uh, yes, okay. Well, now, now uh, uh, okay, I will, uh, one concludes, uh, I don't want to make all the computers it's very easy, then one goes at the end and one gets that this is uh, simply, one writes what is uh, uh, D zeta, one substitute this here and at the end one gets what one wants to get. So one gets at the end, this is just uh, D F beta, so D F beta, H beta minus F beta, H beta. Yes, because this simplifies with that and then one substitute and then this is good. So this is well defined. Okay, I don't want to uh, say much more. You can. Uh, this is a. Then it gives a, a global section on of, uh, of this line bucket. There is another one that I want to say. The second uh, uh, Gaussian map. This goes uh, from H two of K C to H naught of uh, K C square tensor L square. And uh, how is uh, this one we will uh, use, but also the first one at a certain point. What is this? Uh, okay, no, sorry, in general, if I write it this way, I have to put L. I will then use the, uh, the, the canonical bundle here. While there, I also need the other bundles. Okay, but uh, uh, the definition is like this. Here, I, I, I still give a definition local coordinates, which can be checked in a similar way that it's well defined. So let's consider a quadric here. So to give a quadric here, let's, let's fix, fix a, a basis. Let's say uh, P1, PR of uh, the global set, the set of global sections, then Q will be okay. Then uh, we, with the, the symmetric and the condition, uh, if we write the PI, locally again as uh, fi z uh, l on a local coordinate on local on a, on a chart then uh, the condition that q belongs to the ideal uh, to the vector space i2 of l means uh, it's equivalent to say that when i evaluate this is identically zero Okay, then one can make a first derivative of this. And by what Alessandro has already explained is that by, by symmetry, uh, this is twice this is zero, so this is zero. And then one continues to derivate and one gets Okay, so uh, this okay let's so we give the, the definition my mu2 of q is defined locally as uh, the sum of ij f double prime i um, Q 
which is also equal to minus sum of ij of aij okay so this is the the local definition and one can check that is a, a, a good it's well defined it's a good definition okay uh, so why did i say this so these maps has been uh, studied a lot in, in particular the first one for the canonical bundle but i'm not going to, to, to talk about this now the point is that uh, the um, they enter the second one of the canonical bundle enters in the in the in the in a result of uh, uh, of uh, colombo pirola tortra was already explained uh, yesterday by um, alessandro uh, first part so just recall the theorem that was explained uh, maybe two days ago is that uh, if uh, C, um, we always assume that uh, for this you can do whatever, but now C non è per elliptic. And uh, of genus uh, G greater or equal than four. Then uh, if you take uh, uh, B and Q, two points in C, uh, what they proved is the Hodge Gaussian that we, we call the rho, which is also the second fundamental form as we saw evaluated at uh, the product of, uh, I write with this the, to say the symmetric product of two shifter variations at two different points is up to a constant, which should be minus pi or pi i, but it's not very important. HP, uh, let's say Q evaluated at P and Q, HP evaluated in Q. If P is different from Q, I already wrote it here, but anyway, and uh, while uh, this, I think, I don't remember if there is a two or not, but uh, here. So here I'm a bit sloppy because uh, this definition, I'm uh, evaluating sections at point. I'm, uh, um, as Alessandro explained, shift variations are the way they are defined. I recall maybe the definition of the shift variation was given like this. One takes this uh, uh, exact sequence. Then since uh, our, the genus is at least four, so it's at least two, so this, the H naught of these two vanish. So one has a, a, an injection, the co-boundary map of this exact sequence gives an injection this kind. And uh, this has dimension one. So uh, the if a variation at P is a generator of the image of Delta, so of course, it's defined only up to a constant, but as Alessandro was uh, saying briefly that uh, if we fix Z, the local coordinate, we can uh, uh, single out a representative for this. Uh, um, we can take B, P, bump function. Around P equal one in a small neighborhood P. And uh, uh, one can define this form which is a zero one form with the values in uh, um, the tangent if of uh, C and uh, close is the bar closed so one takes this this class in h1 of tc is what we call zp okay we we take this uh, representative i also said this because with this uh, representation uh, this uh, one can uh, and everything here, I'm evaluating sections at point, uh, thinking that I have chosen 
uh, local coordinates everywhere coherently, and this makes sense. One can write it also without coordinates, but uh, it's a bit more complicated, so I will uh, stick to this uh, notation. Okay, so eta p is a, is a section, I recall, of uh, H naught of Kc of uh, 2p, and I'm saying that uh, I chose a, a trivialization and uh, evaluate it at the point, okay? Everything is like this, and it makes sense. It's, uh, okay, what, what I wanted to say maybe quickly here, but uh, without proof, is that uh, it's easy to see, with uh, choosing uh, this um, representative, that uh, if one uh, um, considers uh, an element alpha in uh, H0 of 2Kc, then uh, this is the dual of uh, H1 of Tc. And uh, if one does the evaluation of alpha at, uh, um, at the Schiffer variation, so this is uh, the integral over C, uh, if one writes uh, Okay, let, let me see. It's a, one uses the, the integration and the, the contraction, and one chooses these uh, representatives with this and we, using Cauchy uh, formula in Stokes theorem. It's easy to prove that if alpha is locally around P, this coordinate that we chose uh, the, of the form, uh, let's say H of Z, um, Z square, then. Uh, this is just the evaluation of alpha at the point P. So it's just uh, in this uh, notation H up to a constant to by I H zero. Okay, so what I want to say is that uh, Zp X uh, uh, is a, um, so this is uh, say the evaluation at the point P of alpha. So Schiffer variation do uh, this to say. Okay, uh, so this is the result uh, that uh, I'm going to say, and maybe mm, with this uh, no notation, let me just uh, uh, explain a little bit more what this second. Uh, uh, this is the only thing that we really understand a bit because Gaussian maps are much uh, uh, easier to understand than uh, this form eta is uh, very important because it governs the second fundamental form, but it's, uh, we don't understand it completely. Tomorrow I will say something more, but we understand some restrictions of eta to the diagonal. And in particular, this formula uh, says that, you recall what Alessandro was saying yesterday that I2 of Kc can be seen in the, sur in the surface as, uh, H naught of uh, the canonical bundle of the surface, and this was the negative part, but okay. But anyway, it's contained in this. Then here, one has the multiplication by the form eta hat, which is the form eta seen in the surface. And, uh, um, and here, we have, uh, since this belongs to When one multiplies, one uh, ends in 2ks uh, plus, actually, and this is isomorphic to S2 of H0 of 2kc. So here one has the Hodge Gaussian, which goes to, um, sorry, uh, the Hodge Gaussian is this one. Okay, so the, the, this is the, no, in there. And what I want to say that if one he, here takes the, the mm, uh, mu two, because in the case of, uh, if here we have uh, the canonical bundle, here we have four uh, K, this map, uh, this map is the multiplication map, but this can also be seen, be seen as uh, the, restriction to the diagonal. One here restricts to the diagonal. One what gets two Ks restricted to delta, K plus, but uh, it's not uh, important. Uh, okay. Plus. And uh, what does it mean this? Uh, recall that uh, Ks is P star of Kc tensor to star of Kc. 
Okay, so if one restricts to the diagonal uh, KS, it's just two KC. So here we have four KC, okay? And uh, this diagram, uh, what the, the, um, the second, uh, this thing, the fact that Schiffer variation gives exactly evaluation at points. So if one takes PP, it's just to, uh, in, in this notation, it's just to restrict rho Q to the diagonal. What we say is that the restriction of this uh, uh, multiplication by this rho Q to the diagonal is just the second uh, Gaussian metric. So we don't understand very well what this form eta hat is, or exactly what, or what the second fundamental form is, but we understand better what is its restriction to the diagonal, okay? And uh, now uh, we can, we want, I would like to use this uh, to, to prove at least one of these uh, results. As I said, I proved the, the second one with a slight uh, improvement. And uh, uh, so um, the, first, uh, um, the first thing that we, we need is a, is a proposition. Oh, first theorem, let's say. Um, and uh, so assume C is a K gonal curve. Of the genus P at least four with the gonality at least three. So non hyperelliptic. I recall that the gonality of a curve is the minimum of the uh, degree K of a minimum uh, degree of a map from C to P1. Okay. Uh, so if the curve is hyperelliptic, it has a Q to one map to uh, P1, and we assume that K is at least three. Okay, then there exists a quadric Q, an element in I2 of KC, such that the rank of the quadric rho of Q, rho of Q is, is a quadric here, it belongs to S2 of H0 of 2KC, so it's, it's another quadric, it's another vector space. This rank is at least 2G minus K minus 3. Okay, uh, let me give a proof of this. First, we prove uh, uh, this fact. So, um, so we have a k-gonal curve, this means that there exists uh, a line bundle L on, on C, such that the degree of L is uh, two, and uh, with uh, uh, H naught of L, uh, the degree of L is k, and H naught of L is two, and uh, it gives uh, a map, let's call phi, the map induced by L, to one. Okay. And um, this is, it's also based on three. Assume that uh, we take a basis of uh, H not of L, and uh, uh, we consider the line bundle M, which is given by the what is called the adjoint. So we, we, we take uh, KC minus L, and uh, uh, observe that uh, by Riemann Roth, H not of L M is equal to. Uh, H not of K and minus L, so it's H not of K plus the uh, of L, sorry, uh, plus the degree, which is two, plus the degree of M, which is two G minus one minus K minus G minus one. So this is uh, G minus one plus two, so G plus one minus K. Okay, so, uh, and this, uh, in, uh, in, with our assumptions, uh, since G is at least four, and K uh, is, uh, mm, this is greater or equal than two, because K is, is true, uh, yes. Okay, because K is, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have at least two sections. Okay, and uh, so let's take a pencil. If there exists at least a pencil in H naught of M, and we choose uh, uh, one. Okay, this uh, mm, could have the base points. So let's call B the base locus of the pencil. Okay, we can uh, prove quite easily now, uh, maybe I will do, uh, that uh, either B is empty or it is one point. So it has a degree less uh, than or equal to one. And this is because uh, uh, one computes uh, uh, by riemann roch uh, assume that, uh, assume B is different from the empty set, then by riemann roch it's not of LB, is equal to H naught of M minus B, which is, uh, since this is the base locus, is just H naught of M, sorry, the dimension. No, uh, K. Sorry, ah, uh, no, no, sorry. Uh, K, I have to say that this is greater or equal than two. I didn't say it because, sorry, I forgot. Because uh, K is always, uh, uh, the, by Brinnett theory, uh, one knows that uh, the generic, uh, mm, the maximal value of, uh, of uh, K, sorry, I wanted to say now, but <laughs> I also use it here, in fact, uh, is this, okay? So uh, this is always greater or equal than, uh, than two. Sorry, I have to say. Uh, yes, this is a, a thing that we will use also later, that uh, the generic, the gonality is always less than or equal to this, and the, the generic curve has uh, this uh, uh, gonality. Okay, um, so this is the same. And then uh, the degree of this line bundle is uh, uh, plus K plus the degree of B, and then uh, minus uh, G minus one. And this was, uh, um, we have everything here. So this is G plus one minus K plus K uh, plus deg B minus G plus one. And so um, this is, uh, now what did I say? What did I do? Uh, I made a mistake. No, no, it's good, it's good. Uh, so it's deg B plus two, okay, which is at least two. And then, um, so um, now I have to recall that uh, uh, the curve has another, there is another uh, number which is attached to a curve, which is called the Clifford index of a curve, which is the, uh, maybe let me just recall one fact that uh, if N is a line bundle, On a curve such that H naught of N is at least two and H one of N is at least two, then uh, Clifford's theorem says that the degree that this number, the says that the degree of M, N, I say, minus two times H naught of N minus one, this is at least, uh, is greater or equal than zero. This is Clifford's theorem. So uh, the Clifford index, and in this case, when this uh, is satisfied, we say that N contributes to the Clifford index. So the Clifford index of the curve is by definition, the minimum of the set of, uh, um, of uh, cliff uh, N, such that N contributes to the Clifford index. So such that H naught of N 
and H1 of N. Okay, so by Clifford's theorem, it is uh, greater or equal than zero. And what is known is that, uh, still by Brinette theory, uh, theory, is that uh, one has uh, these uh, inequalities. Between diagonality and the Clifford index. So they are very much related, and uh, there is this uh, uh, inequality. So uh, now, uh, what we had found here is that uh, this uh, L of B contributes to the Clifford index because the, the K minus uh, L of B is. A is M, and this has two sec at least two sections. This is also at least two sections. So L of D contributes to the Clifford index. So the cliff of LD has to be uh, at least K minus three. But this is what? This is H naught of L of B. Sorry, is the degree of L of B. Minus two times okay and now let me just uh, conclude by saying that this uh, the degree is uh, k plus uh, the degree of b minus two times two times uh, the degree of b plus two minus one so the degree of b plus one And so this is uh, uh, k plus uh, or k uh, minus two plus minus the degree of b, and it has to be greater or equal than. Uh, so there is a problem because uh, um, should be uh, sorry, maybe I made a mistake in the complete. Ah, this is minus one. Yes. Leg of B plus one, okay, minus two, no, K minus three, it's okay. Uh, so it's uh, then the leg of B, I was reading here uh, two, so then the leg of B is uh, less than this one. Okay, okay. Uh, so this is, a, this is a, an easy computation that makes, uh, that says that uh, this uh, almost has no base points uh, and uh, it's useful in the, in the next. Now, the, the idea, this is, uh, what is the idea of the, of the proof is to construct, uh, we have to construct this quadric that satisfies this property. So, um, what do we do? Uh, we have uh, um, two sections of M. We have uh, that H naught of L has two sections and H naught of M has at least two sections and we have selected two of them. When one has two, and M is K minus L. When one has uh, such a, a situation, one can build a rank four, uh, rank four or rank three quadric, it depends, no, rank four in this case, quadric, which is given in this way. One writes Q as X T1 times uh, Y T2 minus X T2 Y T1. What does it mean? This is the multiplication. I write with this the multiplication map. So one has the multiplication map from so when I write the x tensor t1, I with x t1, I mean m of this. Okay. So these are sections here. So this is a quadric, at least it certainly in, uh, it certainly belongs to S2 of H naught of KC. But if I now do the multiplication from S2 of H naught of KC to H naught of KC to KC, uh, M, no, let's not call this M, this is another M, another multiplication map. So uh, M of uh, Q, you see is uh, the product x t1 uh, y t2 minus x t2 y t1 is zero okay when i evaluate then i find uh, 
zero. Okay, so Q belongs to a two of KC, and this is uh, how uh, rank four quadrics are built. And uh, so we have uh, these quadrics, and uh, what is uh, nice here is that we can compute the uh, second Gaussian map on this uh, kind of uh, uh, quadrics. But before doing this, uh, let me, what do we do now? We, we take uh, um, the section, as I said, uh, there might be at least a, a base point here. So let me um, take a section sigma, h not of uh, C of B, such that the divisor of sigma is uh, B, which means uh, a point if there exists. And uh, uh, so we can write PI, these sections, as sigma times, mm, let's say, sigma I or yes, something like this. Uh, no, uh, yes, yeah, uh, S times. What did I call S? No, sigma. That's right. Sigma. Okay, sorry. Uh, now, uh, sigma one, sigma two is base point three. And hence, uh, uh, it gives uh, a morphism from the curve to P1. Okay. And uh, um, of degree. That's denoted by D, which is the degree of uh, um, M minus uh, the degree of D. Okay which is exactly, uh, as I said, um, 2G minus two minus K minus the degree of B, so uh, which is can be or either zero or one. Okay. Um, now, uh, one thing that I will not uh, uh, prove is that if, uh, um, if we take Z in P1, a regular value for the map Psi, then uh, the fiber over Z of Psi will be made of D uh, distant points. And uh, what uh, uh, one can uh, prove, well, maybe I, after what I said, I can also say why, uh, then, the uh, vector space, sub vector space of uh, H1 of Tc generated by the Schiffer variation at these points, as I mentioned, D. So these are linearly independent. Why is this? Because um, I explained there without proving, but uh, that uh, uh, maybe I, I raised it that uh, uh, evaluating a, a, a section of, uh, uh, of uh, the square of the canonical bundle on one of the Schiffer variation uh, is, is exactly by evaluating the section on the point. So, what I'm saying is that the annihilator of W inside H not of 2 Kc which is the dual of uh, H1 of Tc. This is just the, say, the set of alphas in H0 of 2Kc, such that it should be the set of alphas such that when I uh, use the duality here, this is zero for all i, one of d. But as I said, this is exactly as saying that the valuation of alpha at the point pi is zero. And so this is just H naught of two KC minus P1 minus PD. And uh, since uh, this degree uh, uh, is um, small enough, by Riemann Rock, uh, this uh, H naught of two KC minus P1 minus PD, uh, it's an easy one uses Riemann Rock, is simply the H1 is zero, and so it's simply the degree of this which is uh, uh, four G minus one minus D minus G minus one, which is uh, three G minus one minus D. So it has co-dimension D. And so uh, hence uh, 
this is 3G minus 3, which is the dimension of uh, space minus D, and hence uh, the dimension of D of W is exactly D. Okay, so we, we computed the, the fact that uh, the Schiffer variation adjusts the evaluation of the sections uh, at the point, uh, says that this annihilator is just this, uh, this um, uh, vector space of sections. And since D is um, 2G minus 2 minus K is less than uh, uh, 2G minus 2. And so the, by riemann roch the H1 is not there. And so you have the, the dimension. Okay. So these are linearly independent. So we have at least a subspace uh, where we can do some computations. What we want to prove now is that if one uh, now we um, we want to compute, we have also found the quadric, which is the candidate for our uh, for our um, theorem uh, for the for the phases and. Um, so we take uh, mm, this quadric Q, which is written there, and uh, we know that uh, by what I raised, uh, that the result of Colombo Pirola Tortola, that uh, rho Q of CPI, maybe EPJ, if I is different from J, these points are different, then this is up to a constant. Uh, the evaluation of the quadric at PI, PJ times. Uh, this form. Now, look, uh, notice that we can always assume, uh, we can assume by um, projectivity uh, linear transformation of P1, we can assume that the point Z is the point zero one. So this means that the section uh, the first section, which was called uh, sigma one, vanishes at pi for all i. But then uh, also the section t uh, one. Uh, but then look at the quadric. If I have to evaluate uh, this quadric, it's symmetric. And in each term, uh, there is a T1. So if I evaluate it at uh, a pair, uh, contain PI, PJ, T1 always vanishes. So this quadric uh, vanishes on PI, PJ. And so this term is not there. So this is zero. While uh, if one takes uh, this one, this was minus two pi i. Uh, the second fundament, the second Gaussian map evaluated at the point pi. So, what we have we found? We have found that rho q, the restriction of the quadric rho q to uh, the two uh, w in the basis given by the Schiffer variations as a matrix, which is diagonal, and on the diagonal. Uh, up to a constant, let's say we have uh, uh, mu two q of p one, the constant times this. Okay, now we want to see. Uh, we want to to estimate the rank, so we want to to show that uh, these are all non-zero. And to do this, uh, we have to compute the second Gaussian map. But uh, uh, an easy computation using the formula. So the, the quadric Q is X uh, T1 Y T2 minus X T2 Y T1. Okay, so if one uh, makes, uh, uses, uh, uh, uses the, the expression of mu Q uh, as a constant times, uh, um, this case would be, One of the two, remember, if the quadric was sum of uh, a i a j uh, um, omega i tens uh, omega j, then uh, we said that there are two expressions. One was uh, a derivative, and uh, this was, uh, so let's say that uh, these are a 
okay? Then uh, we said that uh, mu two of Q is equal to uh, one of the two expression is minus AIJ that I gave. Okay, now if I'm uh, cheating a bit, I mean, uh, I'm a bit uh, sloppy here, these are sections, uh, you should take uh, represent. If one does this computation, one immediately found, finds uh, that this is just up to a constant. The first Gaussian map of X, uh, y times the first Gaussian map of T1 times T2. This is very easy. I don't make this computation, just make the, the, the derivative uh, of the product and uh, sometimes simplify. And what you, you get is this. So now what I didn't say is that, uh, what is this Gaussian map? I didn't explain it uh, so much. I gave the uh, local expression, so I said, Okay, if uh, I have two sections, let's say these two ones, which are locally given by uh, HI uh, times uh, some uh, uh, gamma, which is a frame, a local frame for the, for the bundle, then uh, this, uh, for example, this one was given by T prime I, uh, T, T, I T2, uh, minus T1 to prime. And so what is this? One can write this as uh, uh, the, uh, the derivative of uh, T1, one over uh, H, sorry. H, 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 these are functions. Is it right? So H, uh, yes, no. Uh, times me. Okay, <laughs> this one. Okay, so um, and so you see what is this? This is the uh, the meromorphic function giving the map from C uh, eventually with the base points to P one. Okay, uh, is given by this meromorphic function. So the vanishing of this are exactly either the base points or the ramification points. So if it is base point three, the divisor of the, the uh, first Gaussian map at the uh, wedge product two sections is simply the ramification divisor. Otherwise you have the base points which gets counted twice if one makes the computation because it appears uh, uh, here and here again. So the, what I'm saying is that the divisor of, uh, in, in general, of me one of uh, a, Let's say, let's do stick to this, but it's uh, true in general of T1 wedge T2. This is just twice the base locus plus the ramification locus of the map psi. And in general, so for this, uh, it's only the ramification locus because uh, this was base point three. So in the end, uh, what do we get? Uh, since uh, this second Gaussian map is the product of this first Gaussian map, I have to evaluate it at the points to see what's uh, on the diagonal. And if I evaluate it at the points, I get uh, something different from zero because uh, the points was chosen such that I remember that uh, I said, oh no, now I take, sorry, now I should have taken, uh, uh, this is true in general. Now let me take, uh, assume that Z, sorry, I should have uh, said, uh, is not in the image of, uh, is a little bit more general, so it's not in the image of the set of critical points of phi, union the critical points of psi, union uh, the base locus B. So uh, this, this fact that they are linear independence only mm, it's only if it's not, if it's a regular value. Now let me choose a regular value for psi, which is also not uh, in this, uh, uh, in the image of the set of critical points of psi, phi and in the image of the, uh, the base locus uh, uh, and, uh, sorry, and uh, did I say yes? Okay. Uh, Sorry, and not in the base lock, the locus is up. Uh, uh, sorry, one moment. Uh, it's, um, no, no, it's okay, no? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, no, it's, it's okay. I take the, the, 
the image. Okay, then PIs are what I was saying that the set of, uh, uh, for each I, PI does not belong to this set. And hence, uh, um, to Q of PI is different from zero because uh, uh, this does not vanish because uh, the PI are not critical. This uh, does not vanish because the PIs are not critical for Psi and they are not in the base locus. Okay. So this, this metric is diagonal with all diagonal entries non-zero. And this means that the rank, rank of row of Q restricted to this vector space is at least D, and so the rank of row Q is at least D. So this is the first result, but the, the, the estimate now follows very quickly, so I can say. Uh, this is the main result, let's say. Now, to do the, the, the first estimate, we have uh, to use more quadrics, so it's, uh, it's more complicated, but uh, at least to have the, this first estimate, this is sufficient. It's the way we did. So uh, now, assume that, uh, um, now then uh, we can say that uh, if we have a, a totally geodesic submanifold passing through a k-gonal curve, then we can estimate the, so let's say, if Y is a germ of a totally geodesic submanifold of, it's a germ, so, of, um, of uh, uh, passing of uh, a G passing passing through containing let's say J of C for uh, C K gonal curve of genus D at least four and K at least three, then the dimension of y is bounded by 2g plus k, k over is minus 2. And the, the proof is simply that by uh, the first theorem, ah, so sorry, generically passing through JGC and contained in Torelli, of course, <laughs> yes. Uh, then uh, the proof is that uh, by theorem one, we know that there exists a quadric Q in A2 of KC such that rho of Q, uh, the rank of rho Q is what I wrote, is at least D, which was 2G minus K uh, minus three. Is it true? Uh, 2G minus K. Sorry, let me just check uh, one moment there. Yes, yes, it should be true, yes. Okay, then, uh, so the, only the numbers that uh, sometimes I, I mix. Okay, uh, then uh, mm, by assumptions, uh, if we have, this is totally geodesic, so for every, the tangent space at the point, uh, uh, J, uh, the point J of C of uh, this is uh, isotropic for rho Q. So any two rho Q of uh, V tensor W is zero for any V W belonging to this space. And the maximal dimension of, a, of isotropic subspace uh, is bounded uh, because this is a symmetric tensor, so one has the dimension of P is less than 3G minus three minus 2G minus K minus three divided by two. And this is what I wrote. This is the, gives the estimate. Or is equal to K minus three. Okay, then uh, in the last minute, I just uh, prove the, uh, the result. The result now follows by this observation that I made before that the general gonality, the gonality 
And the result is that the, the estimate, so the maximal, uh, the same as the, the theorem that I wrote here, that y germ of totally geodesic submanifold of AG um, generically contained, or contained because it's a germ, okay, contained in, okay, generically contained in the uh, Torelli locus. Okay, uh, then uh, we are assuming the G this fourth. Then the dimension of Y with this uh, mixed, uh, <laughs> mixed uh, proof that I made, this is uh, uh, a bit better than the first one, but uh, a bit worse than the second one. Okay, but uh, um, the proof is exactly the one of the theorem uh, in 2015, but uh, when we did this theorem there, we, we realized that uh, the base locus could be uh, estimate better, and this gives a slightly better estimate than the original one, but not uh, the, the last one. So now this follows immediately from uh, theorem uh, two. Uh, because the, the generic, uh, uh, for any curve, the gonality of C, as I said, is as is less than or equal to this, then the dimension of y uh, by theorem two is less than or equal to uh, two g plus uh, minus two, and this gives, uh, and uh, this is uh, so equal then uh, what I said, no, nine over four g uh, minus. So this is the the end. Uh, of the, of the proof. So as you notice, the, the, we only uh, used the, the fact that we only use one quadric. We know that uh, if I have a, a totally geodesic submanifold, this is isotropic for all row of Q, not only for, <laughs> for one. And here we only used one, the existence of one. In the, in the improvement, uh, we were able to use more than one uh, uh, quadric. Uh, but not all of them. Uh, so still, I mean, it's a, it's a better uh, estimate, but uh, still we expect, as I said, we expect that for hygienists, they do not exist. So they still have to, to work. Okay. I think the time is over. Yes. Yes, as I said, it's just a, it's a, when, uh, when we did the, this first one, we were a bit stupid because we didn't realize that uh, the, the base locus was so small. So we, get, we gave uh, the base locus B of the pencil. So we gave a, a, a worse estimate of the base locus that made us uh, arrive to this estimate. But then when uh, with Pietro we worked on this, uh, so the first thing that he realized that uh, we one could do a better estimate of the base locus, uh, which uh, yes was easy, but we didn't think about it. Uh, and also it was the first estimate. So we said, okay, it's almost two, so we were not so, uh, so yes, precise in this. So now I, I made exactly this proof with this uh, improvement. This, this is more complicated. I decided not to present it because it's longer. Uh, it uses this uh, idea of, uh, of uh, diagonalizing the row of Q, but what we could do is to take more, uh, because this uh, uh, H naught of M has more sections, so one could uh, take more pencils, but the problem was to diagonalize them simultaneously in order to have a better estimate, and this is uh, what we, we could do, and then with some work uh, we arrived to this. Uh, Questions? What we would need. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, what we would need, I think, uh, uh, is to understand better what happens because all the tricks is to get rid of this part that we cannot compute. 
So what we did is we chose uh, uh, this, uh, this subspace W made of Schiffer variation at the fiber in order to uh, kill this term because this term we cannot compute, but we kill the quadric. So we know that the quadric vanishes. So uh, this goes to zero. If we would uh, understand better how this form uh, eta uh, behaves, or at least if we could compute it in some uh, cases, then uh, it would be much better, of course. But we tried, and uh, this is difficult. Using these techniques, I don't know. This is the, the best we could do, but uh, maybe, I don't know. This is, uh, I think it's hard. If there are no further questions, let's thank the speaker again.